Hallelujah. We live in an era where there is a lot of prophetic move and, and we have people who are trying to ignore the, 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 the sound and the, we are trying to ignore the, the footprints of the spirit and the visitations that we are having daily. And I just came to, to open your eyes again towards the prophetic ability. You see, when you are a prophetic person, you can identify the two, the, 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 the serpent with that two heads that is turning around your life. When you're able to walk on a prophetic, let me tell you something. Den see, see, refusing to walk in the prophetic is denying yourself a manifestation that only in the prophetic you can access that kind of manifestation. I want to say something to you. Moses was called to be a leader, but until he accessed the prophecy concerning his life, he could not be a, a strong man in his generation. It means that Moses was created in a capacity as a God. Moses was created in a capacity, I'm telling you, created in a certain capacity to reflect God's glory and God's power. And guess what? At a point, Moses did not believe that even the things he touched could be, could, could be transformed because he has touched them and to 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 explain it further to you a staff moses was holding a thick moses dropped the staff on the ground and he became serpent and god said pick it by the tree and he picked it by the tree it remained a start until the day he appeared before pharaoh who came with such challenges there are dreams you have had but you have not gotten the interpretation there are things you have in your life that you have not understand why you are prayed and casted they are not going <laughs> Some of them are only scaring to you because you don't have interpretation and understanding. But I want to say this to you. <coughs> If you're going to act, if you're going to act to anything that the Lord has declared on your path, it will be wise for you to study what the Lord is saying about your life. Now look at something. When Moses was carrying that staff up and down, that stick up and down, Moses did not understand that a day will come where interpretation will be given to the thing he has been carrying commonly. In the hands of Moses, it is just a staff. But by the time Moses followed the instruction of God concerning that particular thing he was holding, he became a serpent. And he did not understand how would God allow his servant walk with a serpent until the day came where serpents were commanded to rise up as, as a storm against Moses in Egypt and what Moses was holding swallowed up all their little magic. It means that you have a capacity in you that with all the things you are running away from, rather these things should be running away from you if you discover yourself. I'm not just telling you so that you can feel that there is truly a world but I want you to believe that this is something the Lord declared concerning you and and if you make re if you make research the research is studying the scriptures and praying and seeking god to 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 open your eyes to what he has called you to be I pray for the grace of God. I pray that let the peace of God. I pray that let his blessings be upon you. And I pray that he will open your eyes to those matters you think they are difficult matters, that yet the matters are not giving ways. You have prayed and it seems like it is not giving way. There are things when you pray they are not giving way. Begin to study to understand the mission and the purpose of that thing in your life. <laughs> let me tell you something. There are certain things you cannot take them just just you cannot just take them because you think you are, you, are, you 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 can understand them there are certain things you can only take them because you are left with no choice and i want to tell you something the more the thing is pushing you it is for a response from you and there is a response that comes from the spirit not from the flesh respond to your destiny prophecy not from the perspective of the flesh respond to your destiny prophecy from the place of the spirit the bible says walk up walk with the spirit or walk in the spirit and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh if you walk in the spirit you will not be entangled by the laws and the lust of the flesh and you will not end up in the flesh i pray for you in the mighty name of jesus on this journey to discover yourself more, on this self-discovering journey, I pray that may God, may God release in you the revelation of your calling and the revelation of your manifestation. Your legacy is to impart people and until you identify the people you have to impart, there is nobody who can inherit what you carry. I pray for the peace of God and I declare, may God bless you and may the Lord continue to increase you. It's a declaration which I'm pronouncing I'm not commanding God, but I'm pronouncing a declaration in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you.